Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to access nested objects. The sub properties of objects can be accessed by chaining together the dot or bracket notation. Here is a nested object. This is our storage. It has a desk and in the drawer there's a stapler. In the cabinet there's a top drawer and there's a file, a folder with a file and a folder with secrets. And then in the bottom drawer there is a soda. And then that's, we're outside the drawer. If we go to our storage dot cabinet, so dot cabinet, the top drawer, top drawer, we're in folder two, folder two, that's where you get your secrets. The secrets comes out here. Our storage dot desk dot drawer dot desk dot drawer is going to be equal to stapler. Access my storage object and assign the contents of the glove box property to the glove box cont contents variable. Access my storage. Okay. Use bracket notation for properties with a space in their name. Oh, cool. This is actually pretty interesting. So right now we have undefined. But what we want to do is we want to say glove box contents is equal to the glove box contents. Okay. So we just want to do the glove box. The, what's in the glove box here? Okay, cool. Now, first off, I'm going to console.log uh, glove box contents. Now, it's currently not printing out anything because glove box contents is uh, undefined. So, uh, nothing yet. If we do that, we can see that we're working with a string. And what we want to do is pass this. We, we want this to end up saying maps because the contents of the glove box is maps. Um, so we can start by uh, introducing the object. So we're saying it's in my storage. Now my storage comes out to be this huge object. Now what we're trying to get into is the, uh, um, we want to be on the inside of the car. So in, we've got my storage. The first thing we're going to do is go dot car. And this should give us an, an, a, another object. That didn't change because it's just giving us an object, which is this one. So our next thing would be dot inside. And so once we get inside, we have another object. And in that object is glove box and passenger seat. So we're going to write dot. Well, here we can't write glove box, right? Because this is going to cause syntax errors. So what we want to do, instead of using dot notation, we can use um, uh, bracket notation. And so now we should, no period in bracket notation, we should get the contents of the glove box. So my storage dot car dot inside dot glove box gets us, the thing that that reads out is just the uh, contents of the glove box. So run the tests and they pass. Okay, awesome. Well, one thing I like to do when I'm, when I'm writing code is I like to keep the, um, notation the same. Why, why would you do dots and then do this bracket notation? It seems to me like with this function, you should just write it all in bracket notation. So I would come back in here and refactor this to uh, have all bracket notation. And so now we're getting maps in the other way, but I think that this looks a little cleaner because you're not using multiple types of bracket notation. So anyways, I think that this will pass as well. So I'm just going a little bit more, uh, use dot and bracket notation. So actually this doesn't even pass the test. They want you to use a bit of both. So my previous answer was the better one, but they actually want you to use a little bit of a dot notation. Use dot and bracket notation. Interesting. So they actually want you to do it like this instead of using bracket notation all the way across. Hmm. Okay, cool. So this is the right answer I had at the right time, but I was just showing you that you could use it either way and you'd still get the results, but they don't happen to pass this test. So it's important to get this one as close as you can. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.